Hey guys, this is just uh, a little bit of a tester really. Uh, I've been watching a lot of things on YouTube over the last few years. A lot of photographers out there doing what they do. Really inspired me uh, to get out here and do a bit of what I can do. Uh, I'm not the world's greatest communicator as you will sort of no doubt notice. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's just the way it is. I hope it, uh, the photography makes up a little bit for that. Uh, today I thought we'll just give it a bit of a test and uh, drive out only 20 minutes from home uh, on the east coast of New Zealand uh, to a little place called White Pine Bush. Absolutely stunning place. Uh, I've been to it quite a few times before. It's just a little walk around. The beauty of this place is, you know, for disabled people or people who can't generally walk too far, it's, it's just a stunning, it's built for them. It really is. It's just a stunning little bush walk and it's just, it's built for everybody. Uh, so, like I said, this is a bit of a test. It might not work. It might. This might not see the light of day. And uh, judging by the look of my face there, it's probably a good thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, nice talking to you guys. And uh, if this does ever get onto YouTube, what can I say? <laughs> Enjoy. Well, I've been out at White Pine Bush now for the last maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Come with a few photographs that are okay. Uh, nothing groundbreaking. You'll have seen them all before, no doubt. Done far better than what I've done. Uh, I've not used any filters today, any ND grads. Not really needed them. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to have to invest in a polarizer. Uh, I've seen the results that some of the guys on here do with polarizers. Stunning. Uh, so I think it's going to be time that I splash out on a bit of a polarizer. Uh, other filters, I've, I've got the 10 stop filter. It's only a screwing job. I bought it cheap as chips from, uh, from a company in China. Uh, it's I think it's called Nicey, Nicey. Really good actually, really good. Quite impressed with it. Uh, not very dear, but it does the job nicely. I've decided to try to get this waterfall that's behind me. I don't know if you can see that from there. I can't see it now, so it's, it's there somewhere. There it is. Uh, I'm just gonna try and get it from there, this angle on the bridge. We've got a nice bit of few dark branches coming through the light there. So I'm hoping that contrasts quite well once we get a little bit of light with the, with the stream there. I'm hoping it makes a nice, nice little composition. Uh, only time will tell. I've got no filters on whatsoever. I haven't got any use for any ND filters in here. It's quite dark, so I'm getting slow enough shutter speeds as it is. Currently shooting one third of a second ISO 200 at F11, I believe. And that's giving me a nice uh, slow enough shutter speed just to make that, uh, that water blur a little bit. And uh, hopefully, I never know where to look on these bloody iPhone cameras. I guess I'm looking down in this corner here. Otherwise it makes me look a bit boz eyed uh, which I probably am a little bit anyway. Uh, hope this one works out. I'm just waiting for the light to come through. Uh, every now and then we get a real burst of uh, nice sunlight coming through, which just lights up this scene a little bit. Uh, and we'll just wait and do it 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll, uh, we'll move on to another shot that I've got a, a, bit, of a bit of a hope for. Okay, if it works out any good, you'll see the photograph now. One thing I've noticed, I'm using an old tripod. It's an old Manfrotto. I've had it, well, it's a bit of a family heirloom, to be honest. Uh, it was passed down from my dad to me, and no doubt when I finish with it, when I can't walk anymore, I'll pass it down to my boys. It is solid. It is absolutely solid. It weighs a bit, uh, and it's quite quite awkward to sort of adjust the uh, positions of it uh, so I think a carbon fiber job could be in the offing as well all right guys I want to turn off because the people come in I feel like a right tool so a nice little stand of palms on the walkway there a nice bit of light coming through but there's also a nice little bit of shadow when the sun comes out going on the floor there so not shadow that's light isn't it so settings wise I'm at around about 24 millimeter ISO 200, around about one third of a second at F16. Uh, that's just where a little bit of light come through, and uh, it's looking quite nice. Any good? Here it is. And it's the same thing I wanna say. Three words that escape away. Trying to bend the next. Today, like I said, has been a bit of a test. Uh, just to see if this works okay. See if I can find a few shots. I'm generally a newspaper photographer in day in the day life the day job uh, i photograph people on the days off my uh, my chosen sort of 
thing is street photography. I'm just an avid street photographer. I love nothing better than getting out there and coming back with shots that nobody else would even think about taking. I enjoy that. So to come out into the wilds and uh, get a few, try to look for a few photographs in the middle of the day in spring with very high light, it's quite a bit of a bit of a challenge. I think I've come up with a couple of shots that may be okay, uh, and also it's this tester it's all about how, how I come across on the camera I'm not a great communicator uh, I tend to waffle quite a lot I tend to slur my words it's like I've been on the beer I don't drink but it's like I've been on the beer uh, but anyway if it doesn't come across too well yeah, I apologize I won't sort of force this on you too often I've just been falling from these skies made of you just holding on to that will get me back to you Just trying to read